Hey fellow art fanatics, welcome to Poor Artist Acrylics, or welcome back as the case may be. Um, got a new video here for you today. Keep in mind I'm still new, working on my editing, working on my video set setup, working on my painting. I've actually gotten better at painting since this video and the last one but it's not going to show for a few more videos. And why am I still posting these videos? Well, because I just want to kind of show my growth and show we don't all start out being great at this. It takes work and it takes practice. And believe it or not, it's not as simple as splashing some paint on a canvas and it looks good. Um, my colors that I'm using today are all Liquitex basics. I'm using gold and dioxazine purple and deep violet and you can see the gold and the deep violet sitting over there off to the side on what would be your right. Right now I'm just making sure my canvas is level. You saw me put pins in the back of it to keep it up off my surface. And then I will be putting the background on. Oh, I'm also using titanium white. I believe for this painting, I was using Sargent. It's some titanium white I already had before I started pouring and I used it up and then I moved to Amsterdam. And you can see that I'm painting over a previously poured canvas. Um... I just didn't like the pattern on that canvas. I love the colors, but I didn't like the pattern at all. So I decided to pour over it and I'm going to end up pouring over it again. Full disclosure, um, you will see a painting at the very end of this that is the final product. You will not see the process of that final product. Um, I'm not exactly sure why I record these videos way in advance so I can get a good stock of videos and have time to go through the editing and get them put up on a regular basis. But um, I think that my camera might have died during the recording and all I've really got is a close-up of the canvas, which I did with my phone. Sometimes I do the videos with my phone. But at the time of this video, one of my phones was out of commission. So here I'm layering my colors. Um, put some white on the bottom. Then it looks like dioxazine purple. I'm just kind of going back and forth between the purple and the gold in the uh, deep violet and I am not sure why I have looks like I have two cups of gold there I don't remember that but anyway so I think the reason why this one didn't turn out the way I liked is I think I just used I'm pretty sure I used too much paint but I was at that stage where better too much than too little and I still use a little more paint than necessary just to make sure I have good coverage but I had also this was probably the third or fourth canvas I'd tried and prior to this I was trying spreading my base with a spatula rather than tilting and I don't know if I'll ever go back to spreading my base like that again because I just don't seem to get good even coverage when I do that. And when I tilt it, I don't seem to have any problems. I was trying to get some negative space on one of them and I got negative space all right, but some of it was bare canvas, so it was kind of crazy. And as you can see, my flip wasn't very good. And that's part of the problem too. If you see how the paint came up before the came out before the cup even hit the canvas and it's already blending and muddying a little bit there so I kind of started off on the wrong foot to begin with and I've gotten better at that too and I now realize you can flip the cup or canvas on blah 
canvas over onto the cup even after you've put your base coat down. But my thought was I've got a base coat on there, so I better not do it that way. I still don't usually do it that way if I've got my base coat down, but I've gotten a lot better at flipping the cup quick enough so that half the paint doesn't come out before it even hits the canvas. And so, yeah, I'm getting ready to let it go. And unfortunately, my camera angle is not very good, so you can't see part of it. I've actually ordered some equipment so I can get my ca camera mounted directly above my work area to give you guys a better angle. And then I'm going to set up a second angle somewhere so I've got options. I just haven't decided where the best place for the second one's going to be yet. And I've also got some lighting picked out, so I'm going to put some more lighting. My lighting isn't bad in here. It's just I've got a bright fluorescent right over my work table, and so it glares pretty bad off the wet paint. I'm hoping that if I get some more lights in there to balance it out, maybe the glare will be reduced. I'm not a lighting expert, so I'm not sure if it will work that way. Um, I'm pointing there. I think I tried to record audio on this one. And if you haven't watched my first video, there are servers running in the garage where I do my work. And in the background, they just sound like really bad static and I can't get them edited out. My husband has ordered some parts to move the content of those servers into a big computer he has in the house and get that ser server rack, excuse me, out of the garage. And that's going to have the benefit of letting me talk through my videos, which is my natural inclination to do. Excuse my hair, it was a mess that day. But also it's going to give me room to put a bun rack over where the server rack is now and give me a lot more storage for my paintings to dry, which I'm desperately needing because I have several curing right now that aren't ready to be top coated yet. And yeah, we're getting a traffic jam. And I just, if I go more than four or five days without painting it just makes me crazy since I started I'm like addicted to it and you see this the colors are real muddied together and you almost can't see the white the dioxazine purple is blending with the deep violet and you can barely tell it's there and it just looks like a big muddy mess so I am going to fast forward this part for you just to kind of shorten this video up to um, make it go quicker since it didn't turn out that well anyway. So here I'm finishing it up and possibly kind of showing you how it looks. And I mean, it looks kind of cool. There are some people who might love that and might keep that, but that wasn't at all what I was going for. I wanted my colors to be more distinct. I wanted them, there to be more composition to it. I didn't want there to be just lines going every which way. And of course, there's those squiggly lines over towards the right. So none of that was really my goal. And I'm going to fast forward this part again so that we can get to the part that I want to show you, which is the final end product that I really did like. So bear with me. This is more what I was going for. You can see how the colors are more distinct. The white does blend in places, but in some places it stands out. The gold, the dioxazine purple the deep violet even in places stand out. Um, the lines are more distinct. There's some really pretty cells in there. 
and that's just more what I had in mind. So anyway, thank you for hanging with me and watching my video. And if you wouldn't mind dropping a comment, a like, or a subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. It would help me out and get my channel off the ground. I am confident over time the videos will get better. My narration will get better to a certain degree. And um, the reason I'm pretty confident in that is because my painting is already getting better. And I've come out with some really cool looking pieces, especially over the last two weekends. So I'm pretty excited about that. In any case, thank you very much for your time, and I hope you visit again. Have a wonderful day.